The Michigan Wolverines are making the change at quarterback. We talked about it yesterday on our Sunday sprint. Felt like it was maybe time to uh, to make the move permanently to Alex Orgy Sharon Moore. Don't believe he watches this show, but he felt the same way. Alex Orgy is going to be your guy against USC. Uh, what do we think this means for Michigan? Why is this a good move for Michigan? We'll talk about it right now, but first things first. If you're a Michigan Wolverine fan, if you're a college football sicko, make sure you're subscribed right here to the On3 YouTube channel. College football, nothing but college football. Want y'all a part of it. Massive, massive week here with USC headed to Michigan. We'll pick that game tomorrow on the live show. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. 11 a.m. Eastern. Looking forward to seeing y'all there. So we said this yesterday. I want to say it again. Alex Orgy being your quarterback, to me, you double down on the identity that Michigan wants to have, which is smash mouth football. Okay, that, that, that it, they want to kick you in the face. Do it with a smile on theirs, okay? So with Alex Orgy now playing quarterback, that doubles down on the downhill rushing attack. I think the pushback that you would get to this, if there is any pushback from other folks in Michigan Wolverine circles saying, well, give Jack Tuttle the keys, or do we ne neglect the pass game now? To me, I don't think you do. We'll talk about that in a second here. With Alex Orgy, he doesn't need to be a guy that's going to be what J.J. McCarthy was last year, pushing the ball vertical or, or throwing it all over the yard. Like He needs to be special with his skill set of running the football and be efficient. Okay, I think when you talk about the need to involve other playmakers, maybe that's the case. But to me, I'm like, if you want to involve other playmakers, the best way to do that is to demand attention running the football. Like, right, right now, the identity of Michigan, to me, is like run, run, set yourself up in like third and medium. Sometimes it's third and a little bit longer when you play those better defenses against Texas. And then you're at a point where it's like, okay, get the ball to Colston Loveland or, or scheme something up for him, and you hope he's back and ready to go sooner rather than later. But if you wanted to demand attention in the box, you add another threat now with Alex Orgy. In theory now, this should make the picture even more clear down the field if you have success with him running the football. Those safeties have to honor the run even more so with him in the game. And with Alex Orgy playing quarterback now, it only works if you commit to this experience 110%. Like if you throw Alex Orgy out there to run the Davis Warren offense, you're going to have similar if not worse results, in my humble opinion. I think you need to get creative with it, get some window dressing, get some motions, and just commit to a lot of what he does well, which is running the football, give him options, allow him to either run it or give it on, every, on any given play, give him RPO stuff, like make sure you're playing to his skill set. Because I think with what you have here, you have the chance now to, again, lean into more of what you, I believe you want to be at Michigan. So going back to what I was saying, when you talk about what Michigan needs going forward here at quarterback, I think you only need a change-up pitch. I really do. Because the fastball is obvious. You want to run the football, run the football, run the football downhill with your running game. Like the last couple of years, Michigan's been like a 55 to 60% run the football kind of team. You got Mullings, who's averaging seven yards a carry. You got Donovan Edwards. His resume speaks for itself. As the year progresses, I think they'll start to develop more of an identity up front, which is encouraging because you got Oregon later in the year. You got Ohio State, obviously, at the end of the year. Those are the two big ones you circle. But I think right now, you know the fastball. We just talked about it. Michigan needs to have a changeup. And previously, it felt like the changeup was, okay, if we can get the run game rolling, we can get Davis Warren on the play action or keep defenses off balance with being able to push the ball downfield. The third level of the defense is what you were really trying to attack as your changeup pitch. While Alex Orgy could still have that in the bag, to me, the changeup pitch that he brings is attacking the second level of the defense. Messing with the eyes of the linebackers. And I wouldn't be surprised, too, if Alex Orgy in the football game elevates that running back room as well. Because if I'm a linebacker now, I have to at least give consideration to the idea that when they're back there in the gun and they go into that, that mesh on what looks like a handoff, I have to at least consider the fact that Alex Orgy could pull it and run around the corner. And just even having that thought, having to prepare for that during the week, I may not be as instinctual on my trigger to stopping the running back with the football. Or I, I might give it a, a half a second because I'm worried about 10 getting around the corner on us. When that happens, when you give that extra half second to your running back getting downhill, that's advantage your offensive line, that's advantage your running back, that's advantage Michigan every single time. And when that happens, you can stay ahead of the sticks, which is something I think Michigan desperately needs to do more of if they want to win these marquee matchups against USC, Oregon, Ohio State, so on and so forth. So, I think this is the right move. Nothing to knock Davis Warren. I think with the ingredients you have on this football team, 
you got to double down on your smash mouth identity. I understand Fred Moore needs to see the, needs to see the football. Uh, I understand Tyler Morris needs to see the football. But at the end of the day now, Michigan needs to perfect their fastball. And I think Alex Orgy being in the game and at, at least making defenses consider that, I think you give yourself a better chance to perfect that and to, uh, to play the style of ball that you want to play. So Alex Orgy going to be your guy now. I can't wait to see what he brings to the table. Even more so, I can't wait to see how they utilize him. Hoping they commit wholeheartedly to the Alex Orgy experience. And you hope wholeheartedly that Colston Love is able to be healthy to uh, help in that sense as well. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Again, picking this game tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. Subscribe to this channel, the On3 YouTube channel, so you do not miss it. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Going to keep this party rolling. We will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.